This is How to Drink, the show about making cocktails and how to drink them. I'm Greg, and I have never been a professional bartender. I've never even had a job in a bar. I don't worry too much about precision in technique, because at the end of the day, if the drink you like is in the glass, you did it right. Let's get going. Welcome to How to Drink from the Annex, the New Jersey shoreline down here in beautiful Point Pleasant, New Jersey on the Matitaconk River. I'm so happy that you joined us for this beachy edition of How to Drink. It's just a great time, it's beautiful down here. If the weather were rougher, you might call it dark and stormy. And that's the drink we're gonna make today. Let's make a dark and stormy. Fun things about dark and stormy. Dark and stormy is one of the only two drinks I know of that someone holds a patent on. Gosling's rum thinks that the legally the only rum you can use to make a dark and stormy is Gosling's. Uh, so, w fine, that they can have that. I'm not making a dark and stormy then. I'm gonna make a, uh, a bleak and inclement weather. Let's make a bleak and inclement weather using Plantation OFTD Overproof. So, how do you make a dark and stormy? Well, the standard way is a combination of lime, ginger beer, and rum. You know, ginger beer is good. If you get a good ginger beer, I like uh, some ginger beers better than others, but you can also just make your own ginger syrup, and that is exactly what I have here. This is a uh, ginger uh, demerara syrup that we made in an episode of Chaser, and if you're interested in learning how to make that, the link is down below in the video description, and uh, you should, you should. You should make your own. It's very easy to make, it's delicious. We're gonna give this drink a quick shake and then pour it into the glass uh, quickly, as one does, quickly, okay, quickly. We're gonna start with a half an ounce of lime juice in the small tin. Let's do an ounce and a half of my ginger syrup. I don't know what boat just went by, but whoa. Okay, here on this raging dark and stormy river, two ounces of plantation overproof rum. Typically this drink would be built in the glass, but I kinda wanna do this for presentation purposes, which is a valid reason. I have this like golf maneuver that I do sometimes where I interlock my pinky and my thumb like that to help keep pressure on here. I don't know if anybody ever sees what I'm doing here, but it's a thing. Collins glass, Collins spear. Top that up with a little seltzer. That's a dark and stormy. I like to garnish it with a mint sprig. Um, it doesn't need it. I just think that rum and citrus and mint always go really well together. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Real hot ginger, delicious, delicious dark and stormy. You can lengthen that out with a little bit more seltzer at this point, honestly. Now, a lot of people, I've heard this before, that a dark and stormy has something to do with it being a layered drink where it looks like a dark and stormy night. If you wanna build it that way, you can. It would be difficult using this recipe. I don't think that that really has anything to do with this name. But then I don't really know where the name comes from. I don't make mine layered. I like these incorporated. They have a nice fire right at the back of your throat. You know, the, the, the ginger really is hot. And the rum and the citrus really complement each other with that ginger. It's delicious. It is a very refreshing, awesome drink on a summer's day. And one of my favorite things about a dark and stormy it's that they're so easy to make. A Dark and Stormy is a perfect drink, actually, for good weather, like such as this. It's a great way to cool down on a hot summer's day. It's a great day to warm yourself up on a stormy summer's day because of that heat from the ginger, which isn't really heat. It's just like, you know, a way to describe the flavor of ginger. It's got some fire in it. And I'm gonna drink this one. Oh, the wind's coming out of the southeast there. Yeah, it's gonna be a blow. I'm sure of it. It was my best Maine accent. It's terrible. What is that, Maine or is that more Connecticut? It's more Connecticut, probably. If you have your own recipe for a Dark and Stormy, I'd love to hear about it. Shoot me a picture of it on my Instagram or my Twitter at How to Drink, uh, where I tweet and Insta. Graham. Graham? Graham? And where I tweet and Graham. Uh, I have a Patreon somewhere on the screen. It will tell you how to get there. I'm enjoying the summer heat, but I'm a little bit dazed and confused because it's just been blasting me in the face for like two days now. I'm much more sober than you probably think I am. I, it's just, I'm sunsick. I'm sun Bada bing. That's the show. And uh, I'll be back next week with another drink on how to drink.
When I do that, there should be applause. Well, it's, you've ruined it.